new spot today. I don't know what it's going to be like, but we'll give it a try here for a few minutes. Just windy, a little warmer. First target says a 30. First target, 25 cents. Right next to it is a 20. I got a feeling that's a penny, right? It's supposed to be a penny. Maybe an old shotgun shell, maybe? 25. penny. That's not good. This is a jumpy signal. Three, six, and nine. Nine seems to be the best of it. Another nine. I see nothing. there must have felt falling out. Wire connector. All right, it jumps between 11 and 13. 11, 12, and 13. and model cap. I don't see no rust anywhere.
No clue. Ten cent, ten cent. Awesome. Thank you. 
16 is the best of it. Uh-oh. I hear some heavy iron down there now. Whatever it is, it's big. All metals, you get a big minus three. We've done some changes today. I'll tell you about it when it's not so windy. Fourteen. Well, so much for this hot goose. We're going to venture to another spot. Three or four quarters, three or four pennies, three or four dimes, one gray matter, and some crap. But I think we learned something today. I'll share it with you in a little bit. Location number two. Let's see how this location does for us. So far, that's the best find of the day right there. Eighteen. How deep it is? Look. <laughs> I got ready to give up on it, but it sounded so good, I figured I'd keep on digging, you know? Okay, here's the deal. You see that bottle cap? I just hit it. Here's what we found out. You go to segment one, and you turn the volume all the way up to 25, and you're in all metals mode, You get a null, I mean an iron grunt right there. What am I, six inches from it? Iron grunt. Iron grunt. But when you go over it, it reaches 13 and 14. But it jumps around. But right there, minus five. I like it. I think I like it. Twenty-two. Twenty-two, he said. Could be a penny. It could be a piece of that deep aluminum like I dug in China. Stand by. There it is, right there. Same thing I got in. Eh? You got a better one than me though. Yours is together. <laughs> Coors Light, my Coors favorite Light. too. There you go. Bring in the scoop. It's a, a O2. I mean O2? Yeah, just a just a two, I mean. Oh, a two, okay. Number two. It's either stainless or probably stainless, huh? 
good stainless, or maybe white gold. Ring in the scoop, Mumbles Man. That's All right. Fifteen, one five. Pretty good. Oh, a baby gray matter. Baby gray matter. Five and six. Back off of it. I wouldn't have found it, maybe. We're testing. All right, let's put our test to it. I mean, our theory to a test here. Right here, we got no minus four. We go right there. We got fourteen and fifteen. bottle cap. Three solid 15 out of the ground. I think that theory is not going to hold true. It's lead or aluminum or something. But well, it's crap. So maybe it was trying to tell me that instead of a bottle cap. Theories. So much for those. More testing. 13. Ring in the scoop. Ring in the scoop. It looks like it's a big tungsten ticket. Oh, I can see something right there. Tungsten carbide! Who didn't know that? Tungsten carbide. God! Number two is not the same as the first 13. God. We got a choppy 12. 12, 13, sometimes it drops to 11. Got a no right there, a grunt, I mean, so it could be a bottle cap. Yes, it is. Look. We've got a bottle cap right there. And I thought that was a piece of iron or something, but that's not it. So 
So that was pretty good. Pretty close guess. The sun is setting, it's getting chilly. We got about uh, two blocks to go, I think. I guess that's what we got coming. Another storm. Not nearly as bad as the one we just had, but according to the forecast, it's on its way. Okay. And we're at the rancho anyway. I showed it to him. He wants it. Look at him. <laughs> A new ball. You see, he's not short of any balls, but he likes some new beach balls. They have a nice aroma, flavor, or something. Are you a circus trained dog? She can't get near your balls, can she? A circus trained dog. That's right. Indian. What do you think, little Indian? Here you go. All right, get back to you. Got the bottle caps outside here now in the heater. Stand by. All right. Here's what we did. Let's try it out. Come on here, baby. What's the matter with you? Turn the sensitivity down so it won't go crazy. Okay, then you hit this button here. You go over to... Oh, I went too far. Tones, or whatever you call that thing right there. And you hold that baby down. You see that segment one right there. No, that ain't right. It's supposed to be at 25 already. Stand by a minute. I got to find it. The right spot. I don't know how I got to two. I know it was in 25 earlier. That's max 25. Then you go to segment two. I moved that down to low. It'll knock that up to 10. Then we'll go to three. I got that 12. I'll leave that there. 18. 25. Okay. Now, let's find these caps. <coughs> Hush, Jack. We're in uh, discriminate. See, there is 14 right there. A good number for that cap. Thirteen on that cap. That's a nice one. That's a rusty one at four. All right, now watch what happens in all metals mode. See, you're swinging along. You hit right over it. It's a good sound. But if you back off it, well, I guess it ain't going to do it now. In theory, <laughs> of course, the theory is failing right now. Suppose a null right here, you can pick it right up. Maybe it's because the sensitivity is too low. Let's knock that up a little. Can't duplicate it. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing boards again. Okay. 
I got it. I got it set up finally. We're in uh, zone one, I call it, the iron zone. We got that at 25. Now this is just how I got it set up. That's how we got it to work good today, according to our buddy Pricey. I got iron. I mean, I got stage two at 15, stage three at 10, stage four at 16, and high silver at 25. Okay. Twenty-five at iron, high as you can go. You ready? Now, sensitivity is only at one bar. I mean, two bars. There's a bottle cap. There's a bottle cap. And you're swinging along. It reads good. You back off, and it starts to pick it up, iron grunt. Now with the sensitivity higher, it picks it up further away. When you get over top of it, you get a good sound. grunt fantastic gold ring knock out gold ring you got my drift now more testing needed but this is better than what it was here's the roundup gray matter tungsten taquito About four quarters, three dimes, and I don't know, seven, eight, or ten pennies. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Some kind of copper thing like this. It's got, got stuff inside of it. See all that wire in there? Only one pull tab and only three bottle caps. Okay, I'll give you the Momos Man stuff in a minute. Stand by. Oh, I know what it is. You know, today wouldn't be complete without some knives. I picked up four Wustoffs and a pair of scissors from a guy today. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're in terrible condition. They got scratches all over them. I gotta tune them up a little bit. Look at them. God, something's been grinding on them, see? Like a pull through, but it looks like some wheel kind of thing. See how eat up it is right there? But he's going out of town for a week, so I got a three or four days of work on him. Knives, you understand? Knives and knocks. My buddy Jack was a happy boy today. Here's a mumbles man's nut. I got a few more gray matters. He got a million more dimes than I got. He got two nickels. I didn't get any nickels. He got two quarters. I got four. His ring has uh, come up in two. No marks inside, so he's pretty sure it's stainless steel. And looks like we tied on caps. And he got one more, two more pull tabs than me. And maybe a penny or two more than me. We're pretty close today. The Noxes were doing okay today. Once we got the hang of it, so to speak. We're getting better at the old knock setup. We'll stand by for more. We'll see you later. Good luck to everybody.